We rehearsed that earlier. Well done, everybody. My name's Nikki Dean. I'm going to be bringing you all the action live from the National Centre for Motorsports Engineering here at the University of Bolton. It's an incredible facility. In fact, let's show you around whilst we talk about the competition. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got eight of these incredible simulators here. These have been given by Racing Unleashed, and they are worth a pretty penny. I had the pleasure of going in the other day. Incredible. The immersion levels that you get in there are out of this world. We've got eight of them, as we say here, all in different colours, and our finalists will each be allocated to one of those a little bit later on. Just a quick recap on what's up for grabs today. One boy and one girl will win a chance to race in the Rocket Formula 4 team. How good is that? Pretty exciting, and our winners are in the room. We've got one boy and one girl. In fact, I've just spied one of our competitors here. I'm sorry to put you on the spot. This is Macy Hitter, one of our girl finalists. How are you feeling right now? Let's go through here. Sorry, I'm keeping Jens, our cameraman, on his toes. In the garage here, he's gossiping, so I'm gonna have to muscle in. I'm sorry guys, I need the big man. It's Bob Fernley, the man behind all of this. Of course, Bob was a former team principal for Force India F1 team and president of the FIA Single Seater Commission. Did I get that all right? Was that was a, that that was right a mouthful, mouthful, wasn't it? Wasn't it? <laughs> uh, Bob, you're the brains behind this competition. So how are you feeling today? Because, you know, behind the scenes has been a hell of a lot of work to get here, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I have to I have to say, you know, the, the contribution from everybody here at the university, from the partners, have just been amazing. I mean, Hello and welcome back to the Rocket Racing Star F4 Esports competition here in the UK. Give us a cheer. Thank you very much and thank you to everyone watching on the live stream. Let's just go down the row here. These are our eight finalist boys. Remember these faces. One of these is going to be our winner. How exciting is that? How are you feeling, guys? Thumbs up? Are we all good? Yeah, they're all so cool, calm and collected, aren't they? Let's have a little wander this way in case you're just joining us. These are the simulators that our boys will be racing in. They've all been allocated one a little bit earlier on. We've got eight of them in total. Just a quick reminder of what's up for stakes today, of course. We've already determined this morning who our girl winner is. Uh, congratulations again to Monica Bolton-Ramos. Um, one of our boys will also be crowned our winner today. And of course, they will win the chance to get a seat in the Rocket Formula 4 team. That was a bit delayed. Thanks, guys. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. There really is everything to play for. It's hugely exciting. We mentioned a little bit earlier in terms of how much that was cost. That is completely out of reach for most people, which is what the Rocket Racing Star competition is all about, opening up opportunities for young people to get into motorsport. And as I say, it's really exciting to think that our winner is in this room, so we'll be watching them closely. Without further ado, let's cross over to our commentators now. We've got Lewis McGlade and Cameron. Roger. Thanks, Nikki. I mean, what a competition it's been so far. The girls' races earlier uh, were fantastic. Came down to the final few moments, really, in that. And I get the feeling we're going to see the same from the boys' race as well. Yeah, absolutely. Just three laps to go really was what, what uh, caused the, uh, the big change. Let's find Deegan Fairclough. Where's he gone? He's not in his simulator. Deegan, where are you? Is he hiding? There he is, you rascal. <laughs> You're making me work for my money today, aren't you? Right, we've got pole position. I say we, like I'd had anything to do with it. Uh, pole position for you, how are you feeling going into the first race? Yeah, super happy. It's going to be some fantastic racing between us lot. The top eight, uh, they're all super close. And Dylan, second place, is, is just super close. And it's going to be some brilliant racing. I can't wait. Are you feeling the pressure, obviously, starting in pole? Does that add pressure or just see how it goes? No, now we've actually been in the sim and like done some driving, done some laps. I'm quite happy, quite excited to get the races over the way. So, yeah, super happy I've got pole. Well done, you should be very proud. Mum and Dad are in the background somewhere here. Spent quite a bit of time over the weekend talking to them. I know they'll be really nervous. Can we see them? Give us a wave. At least give us a wave. There you go. I know their nerves will be shot. It's, it's you know, incredibly terrifying stuff here, watching their little ones out there. But everyone should be really proud of themselves and how they performed out there. I know we've got just a few minutes before we go into race one, so we'll let the lads get in the zone. I'm going to hand back to Lewis and Cameron to do the warm-up before we get into race one. 
Certainly will. Thanks, Nikki. And again, we love to chat to our drivers because it's nice to hear who's who's different. I mean, the bar that say you've had enough. I'm going to go to Dad, not my dad, by the way. That would be weird. It's Jess White's dad. Um, obviously, you've been here watching the boys. Uh, you can kind of relax a little bit oh, now yeah, yeah, because yeah. the girls have done their bit. We won't gloss over that because you know that's been and gone. She did well. Uh, what are you thinking about the last one? Is there anyone in particular that you're backing? Ronnie Smith. Yeah, yeah, we race for the same ball. We're both racing the same team for my daughter. So, uh, yeah, he's the, uh, the one we're, uh, we're back in. And, yeah, it's unfortunate that's the penalty he got. But, um, yeah, he's got the speed. We'll see. We'll see if we can get up in that top three, top, top two. I think it's good. What did you think about the boys' races? Because we had quite a lot of drama yeah, I mean, with the girls, didn't we, this yeah, morning? Yeah. It was very, very dramatic. We've had a few bits and bobs with the boys, but in terms of comparison, how would you say they've all got yeah, on? It's different. I mean, obviously, they're far more consistent than the girls are. The difference between the lap times are just, you know, tense. Um, but, um, but, yeah, still fierce on the track. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good They're good racing. They're good racing, yeah. Good. They're all pretty good. They've had to be good to get here. I've just seen Jess's mum's looks at me like, do not talk to me, <laughs> unless you want to. <laughs> Girls, can I come to you too? I know you're absolutely dreading this, but you can almost relax a little bit now. What are you thinking about the boys racing then? Who's standing out to you? Who do you think is going to go all the way? Jess, can we maybe hear from you? I think Deegan and Ronnie have a really good chance. Um, obviously, Ronnie's in my team, so I hope he wins. Um, but Deegan's looking really consistent, so... They've done really well, haven't they? What about you, Macy? Who you, who's your money on? I mean, I think all the boys are looking quite strong out there. But, yeah, like Deegan, he's very quick. So, probably room for him and also Ronnie as well. Thank you very much. Let's move this way. Uh, we're going to head down here. I actually got given a bit of information a little bit later on. Uh, we're going to go to the commentators in just a minute. But before we do, it's Theo McCorris' birthday tomorrow. And then he's got a GCSE the next day. Dad told me. Theo might now be saying, why did you tell them all that? So we will, maybe we'll do a happy birthday later on. <laughs> he's obviously doing very well at this stage. How are you feeling for him? Just, just nervous for him. I'm just wanting to have a good time and enjoy it and make most of it. Either way, he's going to get some birthday cake and see tomorrow in a celebration. So it will be a good weekend all round. Thank you very much. We're going to head back now to uh, Lewis and Cameron before we start race two. Yeah, thank you, Nikki. Well, we'll go straight down then to Nikki Dean, who should be there with Deegan Fairclough. Hey, I am, and I'm dying for a hug. Come here, you. Well done. <laughs> I tell, I tell you what, it doesn't matter, you're our champ. How does it feel? I'll tell you what, when you've run through this in your head beforehand, I bet this is far better than anything you could have imagined to happen. You've got pole position in both of our races. How does it feel right now? You're our champ. Oh, well, literally fantastic. I literally is so over the moon. I'm so speechless. Like, Rocket have gave us such a fantastic opportunity, us lot. And I've been waiting for such an amazing opportunity like this, and it's come round, and I'm just really overwhelmed i can't believe it you kept yourself really calm under this i know how many beats per minute do you reckon your heart is doing right now god knows literally i need to relax a little take it in i can't i literally can't believe that i've just won the full season in f4 for next year i'm just super grateful i just want to say a huge thank you to every everyone in this room and everyone that supported me along the way especially rocket and everyone that's put this on it's just been absolutely fantastic you're a brilliant young man. It's been amazing to watch you. You've had mum in tears. I think dad's fighting the match, trying to be quite cool and macho, but inside he's crying. Well done. Very, very excited for you indeed. Let's move along here. Uh, we're going to go to second place. P2, Theo Mercuris down here. We've got another camera. We might have to elbow them out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, chaps. Theo Mercuris, how are you? It's your birthday tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Happy birthday, P2. We're happy with that. Of course, you know, you want your second runner-up. It was a fantastic prize for you as well. We're going to award you with that a bit, little bit later on. But how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, good. Uh, well done, Stegan, first of all. You know, he drove a fantastic race. He deserved it. I uh, gave it everything I could. Just struggled at the start, which is what cost me. Um, I, I had the pace at the end. I was actually caught up a little bit at the end. Obviously, he was taking it careful. But um, I, d I definitely did... I lost it all at the start, so yeah, well done to him. It's been a fantastic event as well. Thank you to everyone. It's been so, it's just been amazing. It really has. It's nice to see the sportsmanship as well amongst you. How are you going to celebrate? Birthday tomorrow, then you've got a GCSE on Tuesday. Is that right? So it's a massive week for you. Are you going to get a chance to celebrate, or is it going to be postponed till next weekend? Probably get home at midnight, then revise biology all day. <laughs> Happy birthday, Theo. <laughs> 
That's what you've got to do if you want to make it to the top. Well done. Of our voices, because Nicky Dean is going to be standing by on the floor to have a little bit of a chat with some of our drivers. Thanks, guys. What a race. I think I've aged about 20 years. But just knows how our finalists have been feeling. And, of course, they've got all their supporters here as well. Uh, now, there will be some investigations on some drivers. Race Control will be giving us the official finishes. But we're going to go to how they finish provisionally here. Let's go, first of all, to third place. That was Jess White here. Looking pretty disappointed. I'll come around this way so we can get our camera. Jess, I know you've got a lot to digest here. I'm sorry to get straight in with my microphone. It was a real tricky race. You went from pole position, starting, finished in third. Anything you'd like to say at this point? Um, thanks for taking me out, first of all. And she decided to do it again. Um, it's just shit driving, to be honest. All right, well, we'll move on. Sorry there for... Uh, Language. We'll move over to Chloe Grant. Of course, we have got energy and nerves running really high here. There was a collision contact made between Jess White and Chloe Grant, who finished in second. Uh, Chloe, how are you feeling at this point? Um, all right. Yeah, I just I was coming up behind Jess, and I didn't realise she was going to break so early. There was genuinely nowhere for me to go. I do, I do apologise because I did go into the back of her, but I, there was nowhere for me to go, and I didn't realise how quick she was going to be on the brakes. Um, but. <laughs> We'll leave you to get back in the zone. Big of you there to apologise. Let's move around to Monica bolton Rammers. Let's get the energy up again. Dominated at Brands Hatch. Have a round of applause for Monica. Where is she? Round here. Let's jump around. Way to go, girl. You did some fantastic driving out there. Um, you didn't start in pole. How are you feeling beforehand? You said you felt quite confident. Do you think, you know, well, you did everything that you could out there. How are you feeling? Yeah, just really, really happy. Um, I did lots of practice starts at home, so I knew how to take turn one quickly. And uh, so, yeah, I went around the outside, took the lead, and then tried to, you know, take it a bit slowly so I didn't spin. So, yeah. yeah you did. Yeah, I think it's fair to say she did pretty well. Let's have another round of applause. Get the energy back up here in the room. Um, as we said, there will be some investigations there. We are waiting for the official results. Were you aware of anything that was going on on track, or were you just in the zone? I was looking at like how far behind people were, so I kind of knew if there was an incident or not, but not exactly what happened. Probably the best way to be. Keep focused on your own drive. Uh, well done again. Let's see who else we've got down here before we go back to our commentators, because there's a lot to... Ella, by the way, you pulled right back there. Well done. I know you said that you weren't feeling... You were fairly confident, but you weren't expecting to finish. But you did pretty well. Yeah, Thanks. I am happy. It's a shame that I spun towards the end, but um, I lost that position in fourth. But I'm happy with the result that I've made up two places as well. So well done. Great drive in there. Okay, there's uh, and some lots of claps as well. We've got all the cameras here as well, filming for a documentary. I know the girls have got a lot of information to digest here. We'll just grab Macy Hitter. Macy, I keep pouncing on you, don't I'm sorry. Um, how are you feeling then as a result? It was a very dramatic drive. Was it, was it easy for you to stay in the zone and focused on what you were doing? Were you distracted by anything that was going out on track? No, no, I wasn't distracted at all. It was just a hard race and I think I overstressed myself a little bit again, which wasn't great. But we've got another race, so it's not the end of the world, but I would have obviously liked to have done a lot better. Do you think you can do enough in the second race to claw it back? Fingers crossed, yeah. I mean, I, I, I know I can do it, but it's just about doing it. It's whether you can do it on the day, isn't it? Good for you for keeping nice and positive, though. So there's plenty going on, as we say here in the background. We do need to find out from race control what those official uh, results are of where our girls will finish. But for now, I'm going to head back to our commentators. We've got Lewis and Cameron here. Um, as we've sort of alluded to here, and we've heard from some of the girls, there's, you know, there's, there's mixed feelings here in the pit lane but over to you for for your yeah, yeah nice. absolutely i mean